Good evening, everyone. It's Steve and Teddy here. Uh, as promised, we are now um, presenting you with the new expert interview for this month. And we've got someone really special and we can't wait to introduce him to you because we are pretty sure that he will be able to make a big difference in the way you run your arbitrage business. Thanks, Steve. So we've got Devon Jordan here. Hi, Devon. How are you doing? Hi, Thank you from Family Affairs Prep Centre. Um, we wanted to introduce Devon because we uh, understand the importance of um, making sure that once you've mastered the process of prepping and packing and shipping your items yourself, in order for you to scale within arbitrage, you would need to uh, consider using a prep centre. And one of the many beauties of selling on Amazon is that a lot of processes can be outsourced, like we've explained in various posts within the community. And as I said, one big task that you can outsource is the prepping and shipping. And there's no shame in kind of hating prepping and packing, Steve. You've, you've got to that stage where you did get to that stage, didn't you? Sometimes when and you can, hours in your kitchen peeling off labels, you think, is this yeah. what it has come to, right? So yeah. you think, yeah, I need to hand that over to someone. Yeah, and, and you can you know you can work hard without moving those boxes and, and I suppose use the important time that you have, that spare time to, to do what's right for the business and that's sourcing those products, whether or not you've got VAs in your business and you're managing them, more time managing them allows you to really focus on bringing in those new leads and also replenishing those leads that you're currently selling. And so it's, it is important to let the, the experts handle the shipping and packing um, phase of your business and as I said talking of experts we've got Devon here with us um, this evening within this interview who actually owns his own prep centre located within the north of England yeah. um, and we're going to talk to you Devon and get, I suppose get a bit more um, about kind of what it takes to uh, to run a prep centre and kind of how you got started in Amazon so would you like to provide a, um, a brief kind of bio background of kind of how long you've been selling and running your prep centre for? Yeah, for sure. So, um, like you said, I'm Devon. I'm 22 nearly, um, and I've been selling on Amazon arbitrage-wise for two years and three months. Um, so when I was young, I was always obsessed with making money in some way or another. I'd hunt through my grandma's shed and try to find anything I could sell on the roadside. Um, and then I got to school, and I'd be selling DVDs and CDs. And then when I got a bit older, I'd be selling cans of pop and sweets. So I've always, without even knowing it, being a sort of entrepreneur. Um, so when it got to coming up to college time, it was time to go through education and I went to university and I was going to be studying to be an environmental health officer, which is a completely different world to what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, after two years of that, I decided that it wasn't quite right for me. I wasn't enjoying education. Um, and somehow, by the look of fate or anything, Amazon FBA was introduced to me by one of my friends um, so that was kind of my escape. So I started it while I was at university um, and then straight away I knew that that was probably the route out of there. Um, so I quit university, um, got a full-time job to keep the income coming in while working on Amazon every other minute I had. Um, and then it got to a point where I could really take this business somewhere else if I work in it full-time. So I quit my job, luckily still living with my mother, um, didn't have any big bills to pay or anything like that. So I thought this is the right opportunity before it gets too late. Um, took that on full time within a year and six months we looked at getting our own warehouse because Christmas time of Q4 the amount of volume we were starting to ship was coming too much to like Steve said coming out of your kitchen mm -hmm. um, so yeah a year and six months in we got the warehouse and then within three months um, we saw visions for what we wanted in the warehouse and this prep center was one of them Fantastic. That's very impressive. I, I envy you because uh, I wish I'd discovered Amazon when I was your age. <laughs> That's why I had to grab it with both hands. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with, uh, with your action taking and, and your success as well. And so what made you decide arbitrage versus other e-commerce strategies like private label or merch by Amazon or drop shipping? Um, so when it was introduced to me, like I say, by one of my friends, he'd found out from somebody else and within that circle, arbitrage was the only thing that was spoken of. Um, it wasn't until I made my Instagram account and started communicating with other people that I realized private label was a thing. Um, once you start searching Amazon and thing on Google, dropshipping adverts start popping up and you realize that's a thing as well. Merch by Amazon popped up on Instagram a few times. Um, but I decided to stick with arbitrage for now. Um, private label, I'm looking to get at towards the end of the year slash beginning of next year. Um, cause I feel like 
to really make a go of that, you need to be having a good startup um, startup base. Um, so I've spoke to a few people in the private label world and a big startup base, you may as well go there. If you, if you lose some money, you lose some money, you live and you learn. Um, but from the start point, arbitrage was, it was easy to start with as little money as you, you had really. Um, so that's why we started with that. I'm glad you're saying that because this is exactly what we teach. So we say to people, arbitrage is a good entry level strategy. You build your profit, build your income, and yeah. when you get to a certain level, then you can start investing in your private label business. Definitely, so yeah. start on with that. So you said you, you you started building your own prep center a year and three months in. Um, so how do you go about building a business and decide, okay, I'm going to have my own prep center here? And, and how did you make that decision? Because that's quite a big step. Yeah, so when we got our warehouse, um, it, that was a huge step for us, really, because we was going from using my nana's kitchen and her dining room, starting to overspill into the living room, and then we moved into the warehouse thinking, we're going to fill this straight away. And then we got in here, and it was like, oh, dear, have we made a big mistake here? We've got a few little items on the floor, and we're thinking, we're paying this money to use this space, and we aren't even filling it. Um, so I sat down and looked at different areas of the warehouse and thought, right, what can I have over there? What can I have over here? Um, so within the space I'm sat in now, I've got plans for this area with a podcast and things like that. Um, and then I did have half the warehouse that I was going to dedicate to the prep center and then half for our own business that has now taken over and the prep center now runs pretty much nine tenths of this warehouse. So. Fantastic. So how does it all work, Devon? So for someone listening in that's just started in arbitrage, obviously they're getting to grips with prepping their, pa uh, their items themselves and packing them in boxes and sending them into Amazon. But how does it work? Because you've obviously got lots of clients now. How do you, you know, how, how from them sending it to your prep centre, what would you do behind the scenes? So when you first join our prep centre, you get given a welcome pack, which explains everything that you have to do yourself. Um, pretty much all you would have to do is purchase the items yourself, update our sheet that comes to us, and it's like our hub um, of main communication. And all you've got to do then is just add it to Amazon. Everything else we take care of. So as soon as you've purchased it, it gets delivered to our warehouse where I'm sat in now. Um, and then from there, we will take it in, inspect the box, make sure there's no damages, then inspect the items. Then we'll go to, like I said, our hub sheet, um, update what's arrived. If there's any damages, we'll send a discrepancy report. And then we'll decide, along with Amazon's requirements, what kind of prep is needed, whether it be just label the item, whether it be tape the item, polybag, bubble wrap, or bundle the item. Um, there's different prices for each level at that. Uh, and then once that's prepped, um, we have um, really strong communication with all our clients because some clients prefer to get stuff in and out as soon as, they, as, soon as it comes in even if um, you're not filling a box. Maybe if they're just that, that could be the case. Um, and some people might want a minimum shipment of 100 items, 200 items. Um, so we make sure we've got really strong communication with every client because each client's needs different. Um, and then we will take action on shipments from there. So okay. that's pretty much it. And let's, let's just say that I've ordered stock on, online um, because I, I suppose the majority of your clients, I'm assuming this, are, are buying online. They're not going out to their retail stores where they are and then putting it in a box and sending it to them. Because obviously yeah, that's just gonna, yeah, okay. So, so let's say I, um, I place my orders online. You receive them within two working days. How quickly from you receiving those could you turn those, bo those boxes or those products around and get them into Amazon for the client? So if you wanted us to, like I've said then, where people would want them as quick as possible and some would want us to wait, um, if you had no requirements on that and it was simply a case of when stuff comes in, if you can fill a box, get it out, we aim for within 24 hours. Okay. We sometimes get it out within the same day. So some, usually with supermarkets, um, we try and stuff will come in between usually nine and 10 in the morning. That's when people like to get it in the earliest. Um, and then we'll straight away get started on the prepping and UPS luckily for us don't come until 4 PM, 5 PM. Um, so we've pretty much got that full day to get it prepped and shipped. So we'll concentrate on one prep client at a time uh, and work our way through. And that's Monday to Friday, isn't it? So if obviously it landed at yours on the Friday, potentially it wouldn't go out until the Monday. Correct. Yeah, that's just yeah. how UPS run. Um, we yeah. work Monday through to Saturday. So Saturday is 12 to 4. And we accept deliveries in that time period as well. But UPS don't run on weekend, unfortunately. So anything on Friday, we will try get out the same day for Friday. Uh, if we yeah. need to get extra staff in to get that out, we will because we understand it's another three-day wait 
Um, but if it does come and it can't make it, it would be the next Monday, yeah. Okay. And in terms of staff, so how many how many people have you got working for you at the moment prepping your items? Five within our business, but only three working on the prep centre itself. Okay. Okay. And and in terms of capacity, are you have you got a waiting list yet, or you still got spaces for, uh, for we've clients? Still got space at the moment, um, and we really? do have um, staff ready to join our team if if clientele come in. Um, so we've got relations and friends as well as other links as well to people who already work within the business that if clients did come in or if a rather large client came in, mm -hmm. bring that extra person in, we could, and we can also up hours as well. So all hands to the deck, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. When money's involved, it's all hands to the deck. <laughs> exactly. So how is your prep center service different than from your competitors? What makes you stand out? Um, so without using one of the prep centers myself, um, I've had a look on other websites and obviously done comparisons on my competition in terms of prices, um, what they offer in terms of monthly fees and things like that. Um, so the main difference I'd say between ourselves and another um, one of our competitors would be the monthly fee. So we don't actually charge a monthly fee. We only charge the sign up fee. And that is so that we're not disregarding people who want to start their journey so we understand that if a new seller is going to be starting and they're only sending in maybe 100 items a month they're not going to be wanting to pay 60 pound a month and then pay the per item fee on top because it's going to eat up all their profits so we charge a 1995 i believe sign up fee once you've paid that and um, we'll send you the welcome pack the sheet and then you can send items in whenever you want. We've got the space for you. Um, if you send 10 items in a month, that's fine. If you send 10,000, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. And what's the, uh, how does it work for the fees? Because I'm assuming you've got different fees for putting yeah. in a penalty yeah. label or poly bagging or boxing. I was really impressed with your fees, actually, Devin, when I had a look at them, especially in, com in comparison to your competitors, um, the monthly fee and obviously the individual unit prices as well. So. Uh, just going back to that uh, competition as well, I just remembered another thing because um, one of my friends also runs a prep service. So being in close relation to them, I've kind of found out what they do. Um, and I believe most prep centers actually require the sellers, once they've bought the items and the items are being shipped in, they require um, the seller to send label sheets to them and also create shipping plans. Whereas we don't do that. We saw all that ourselves. So as soon as you've bought the item, all you've got to do is add it to our sheet and relax. So do we, so would the client then set up basic Amazon access so you can do the back end work for them? So you can download the FNSKUs and create the shipment and then print the shipment label for the boxes? Correct. Yeah. So Fantastic. we get basic, basic inventory permissions. Um, we can't see anything else but inventory um, as well as shipments. So that's right. what we get added to. Cool. For real. That's a big advantage, I think, over yeah. the competitors. And uh, what about the other fees? How, how are these yeah, so the fees? I did write it down here somewhere. We will share your price sheet with uh, our community. But yes. just for people watching the video, let the, uh, just give us a, a brush. Yeah, so um, we introduced four tiers within the prep center again, so that then we're not disregarding anybody starting. And we can also take on larger sales as well. So our four tiers are, if, if you're sending between zero and 500 items a week, if you're sending between 500 and 1,000 items a week, if you're sending between 1,000 and 1,500 items a week and upwards, um, each tier, the more items you send, the cheaper the per item price is. So just as an example, if you just were getting items that were being labeled, in tier one, just the labeling costs 55 pence, not including VAT per item. Uh, tier two is 50p, tier three, 45p, and tier four, 40p. Mm -hmm. um, and then it goes up 10p for polybagging, 10p for bubble wrapping and then 50 for bundling. And that 55 pence, Devin, for the first tier that you said, so it's 55 pence to inspect and stick an FNSKU label on the product. So yeah, we class that as um, receive, inspect, label, as well as ship. Um, there is a per box fee as well of two pound. Um, so that covers our box cost, um, our storage cost, as well as packing and labels and everything like that. So we stick fragile, this way up labels, heavy box labels, anything like that. that we that's all included in And you also, uh, sorry, Steve. That's all included in the £2 per box. £2 per box, yeah. If we reuse 
Um, if you get a larger box in and we feel that it is strong enough to resend, we charge one pound per reusable box. Okay. Fantastic. So if those listening in would like to, to get, get in contact with Devon uh, and learn obviously more about his prep centre service, we'll place a link. We should be able to see a link on your screen right now, which is bit.ly forward slash OSC FA prep UK. Um, as I said, it's on the screen right now. And if this video is in Facebook, you'll also see the link within the comment section. And within that link, Devin's also kindly offered the online seller circle community a free trial for their first 100 units, Devin, was it? Uh, if you're in tier one or two, it's 100 units. If you're in tier three or four, it's 150 units. Fantastic. Yeah. So obviously, depending on what tier you're in, that could be £100 plus saving for that free trial. But also on top of that, a further 10% off your first monthly prep centre uh, service fee as well. So if you'd like to uh, take the plan and just get in contact with Devon, use the links that you can see on your screen. And if you want to sign up for further information, you need to quote the code online seller circle or one word for that 10% off that first monthly prep service fee as well. Evan, give, can you give the, um, the community any kind of tips or tricks when it comes to prepping their products? Because they might not be at the stage yet where they feel confident enough to use a prep centre. Any tips or tricks that you could recommend to them when they're prepping at home? Yeah, so um, my biggest tip, and it's probably going against what I say most of the time, and it is think as a consumer. Um, so when you're sending your products, you want to be thinking as if you were receiving those products. Would you be happy with how you've received it? Um, so obviously I spoke about Amazon requirements and um, they sometimes do require taping, bubble wrapping, polybagging. Sometimes they don't. So on an item such as a Teddy, it might not require it. Um, but if you leave that in Amazon's warehouse, it's going to get dusty. So just putting that in a polybag, very simple. It costs 10p for you, um, but it might mean a lot to a customer um, to know that the item has been well looked after and it's worth their money. Definitely. And if you'd like to receive our online seller circle free prepping materials list, you can download your free copy uh, using the link on your screen below. And that's bit.ly forward slash OSC prep. Excellent. So what are your goals for 2019 then with the prep center, Devin? Uh, so our main goal, and it's something I'm working on at the minute, is to build a web app for the prep center. So that will bring in ultimate communication, ultimate usability, um, and it'll just make everything 20 times better than it already is. And it is already very good. So at the minute, we use Google Sheets to mainly communicate what's going on within the warehouse. Um, but I'm currently making plans for a web app that uh, our clients can log into, pay invoices whenever they like, um, and just have a whole hub as a web app that you can log into uh, and use that as a, one of our clients. So that is hopefully going to be done by the end of 2019. Exciting times ahead, so that's great. So Very thank you so much for, for your time, Devin, tonight. Uh, we I just want to summarize that Devin is running a Family Affairs Prep Center, which is a UK-based prep center offering both Amazon private label and arbitrage sellers the ability to really fully outsource the prepping and the shipping of their products to the Amazon warehouse. So if this is something that you don't like doing or you feel that you're getting too, uh, too many products in your kitchen and you can't handle it anymore, or your partner is starting to threaten to leave you because there are too many boxes in the bedroom, <laughs> it might be time to start using <laughs> at Prep Center. So remember that uh, Devon and Family Affairs Prep Center are offering the members of our community a free trial for your first 100 units. So that could be a saving in excess of 100 pounds depending what tier you're at. If you code the, code the code uh, online seller circle, you get a further 10% off as well uh, on your first full paying month for the prep service fee. So thanks for watching everyone. Thanks again, Devin. And uh, I'm sure that the community will be really excited about uh, meeting you and talking to you about working with you in the future. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Devin. Thank you.